Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain, episode number three. So in the off time, I had a hell of a time trying to rename everyone, but I think I've done it. <laughs> I have made 60 changes already, which took me the better part of three hours, but it's in! <laughs> so anyway, and I also think I have two people who are supporting me um, on Patreon, I think, who have not submitted a name. Just in case you haven't already acknowledged yourself um, in the uh, Google form or whatever, um, go to the Discord with your linked um, uh, Discord slash Patreon linkage thing and put in the ship names there that you'd like a ship name because you will you will get priority. All right, so <laughs> the ship names are starting to come along. I'm getting into the habit, the feel for it or whatever. Oh god, see this is what happens. These guys just drift off. I think you were supposed to be in the Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken. Does that mean I'm not going to have a problem? It doesn't look like it. Anyway, um, so, okay. We're fighting the French. We had that really weird engagement last time. Well, we had several weird engagements, but we had that one battleship, all by its lonesome, engaging like half the French Navy. <laughs> It worked out well for us. We ended up sinking one armored cruiser, almost sinking another, and we came back with heavy damage ourselves. But again, uh, if you don't end up getting sunk and you win the battle, it's all in your favor because your ship will be back as the. So now that's the Paneno, which is uh, previously was what was it the Repulse? I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. Or Renown, I think it was the Renown. So let's get into the, the next battle. We are losing the fight in Northern Europe. Very strange. So we actually, so you can see the names. Black Rider, this is Wave Rider, my god. Okay, Convoy Defense. I think I'm going to accept this because I don't mind Convoy Defenses too much. What the hell? We don't have any... We do have light cruisers there, but let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It looks like the same thing as last time. Do we have any supporting ships? I don't, I, it might be because we don't have any destroyers or really no destroyers to speak of, just two, but they are both in Northern Europe. The crazy game bugs continue. <laughs> that's okay, I, I still like this setup so far. What's our time? Midday. Okay, well, we can run with this. Let's see what we are up against. Probably destroyers, which would be bad, but we'll see in a moment, won't we? Light cruisers. Okay, I think it is, again, same old, same old. Uh, just a whole ton of light ships. So let's peel away and then come in. Are they in range yet? No. They're easing into range now. That's okay. So uh, they decided to leave range. Interesting. Alright, well let's just go full speed because this is just going to be a, a silly game of chase. Torpedo range being so short in this game right now that uh, we shouldn't have to worry too much. Okay, they went to torpedo launching mode, but all we need to do is land some hits and we'll be okay. Is there any, like, um, yeah, speed is limited to 26 knots. Nobody's going to be going 26 knots except for maybe the destroyers. We did get a true day hit. Was that with the 12 inch guns? That's good. Single one of those could be enough to bring it down. So I don't mind being at the wind disadvantage. Just I want to close the range any way I can. They like were obliging me for a moment, but we're still getting our full broadside off. We are not doing a whole lot of hitting. Come on, let's do it. Secondary battery hit, even though our secondary battery is pretty weak, did not do any damage. All right, we're gonna have to go to fast. This is gonna be, oh, well, you know what? Things are about to get a lot more interesting. Oh, okay. Where the hell are we? Where are they going? 
Oh, they will pull away from me. Unless we're slowing down because uh, our coal burning and whatever. Very strange. What the heck are they doing? They're making a break for it. They're going to Swansea. Okay, that was interesting. Did give us an opportunity to catch up a little bit. A little weird turning there. Alright, now we know that they're going to turn in. We still go for it. Does that mean that one of them is on fire or something? Why do we have such good vision of them? Huh. Okay, we're just going to have to head on with them. They're going to turn around though, right? Oh god, so scary. Torpedo real <laughs> real dangerous here. You can see the torpedo range is actually terrible. So we probably are going to be okay. We're really taking some chances here. But, alright. Well, I assume that's a win. <laughs> we might as well go back. Oh, god, we saw him. Damn it. Will they just park themselves? Okay, well, we might as well just go very fast. Okay, very strange. Still a victory for us because they didn't sink any merchant ships. How much damage? They did 20 damage to us. No, 177. 197. Yeah, it's really nothing. <laughs> okay, so really silly engagement. Man, they're still dominating and we lost another prestige point, which in the very beginning of the game I actually do care. Could be here for a while. I did put Bodie McBoatface in. There was, there was actually two submissions for it. So I left an opportunity for the Bodie McBoat base with just one word altogether, being an armed merchant cruiser later in the game. No, what? Okay, we will take everything now because we need, we need to win. Damn. All right, so if we're gonna get blockaded, then obviously it just doesn't make sense to leave any ships here. I think we'll pull all but two of them back. That should stop, a okay, let's find out how they're blockading us in Northern Europe. How is it happening? How has this happened? Okay, they have nine battleships and we have, yeah, I see. It's just nine to seven. Again, this is enough for a blockade. I've hated the blockade mechanics for forever. I did post on the forum about it. The forums, I don't know, it's hit or miss. I think, <laughs> I don't I, I imagine this is just observation bias, but I feel like uh, the developer doesn't listen to the posts I have there. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I've never, I don't think he's ever responded to me, but uh, I mean, the, the, the game publisher has, nor, um, the NWS. Naval War, I don't know what the, oh, Naval Warfare Simulations, right? Anyway, uh, that's not important. I, but I did post about this blockade mechanic that if you have 10 battleships and they have 11, they blockade you, which is really silly. Blockade should really be like an overwhelming majority. I even just proposed like a mild change to 20%, but I think something like 40% would be more realistic. Um, in the meantime, our monthly balance has actually crept up what will we do with that? I don't know. So I will just leave it where it is for now. Uh, how many more turns until... Okay, so this one comes back as well. I think we have to move one more out. We just have to force not to be blockaded. Okay. That should not have happened anymore. <sighs> no. Don't lay down your arms. Give us time, we'll catch back up. Okay, here we go again. Okay. We're at the wind advantage here. I think this was, sorry, let me move that. Was this a convoy raid? Apparently it was. Okay, here we go again. There's a pattern I'm seeing here where it's one against everyone. This is pretty dangerous. This is like your 
Not not your ideal situation for sure. Okay, we have to be very careful. Let's sink the transport ships and then deal with the um, destroyers next. Not that we're going to sink them all in one pass, but okay, that was devastating. I know what I need here, which is torpedo range. I need to know my torpedo range. This is like the single most important thing. Okay, yeah, we, uh, it was not surprising. It was never in doubt. Saw a few hits there, but they're still going strong. I plan, I, let me just eliminate every single one first and then try to, okay, that, that's it, every single one. <laughs> now let's try to do some damage with these destroyers. And when I get closer, I do need to be a little bit more careful about my maneuvers. They are zipping in weird patterns. Ah! <laughs> that was definitely within torpedo range. Couldn't even identify them in time. They're so flighty. Where would they be going? They're obviously not heading back to port. Let me go ahead and turn on new sighting reports and then just crank up the speed. Let's see if we get lucky. I mean, if we get... No, this is going to end. Well, that's the unfortunate thing with going for the merchant ships first. I probably should have gone after the destroyers first. Yeah, we did medium damage to one of them. So it's a minor victory, but we need more than minor victories to pull us out of our huge deficit, which I don't know. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the blockade. <laughs> Things went really, really, really poorly. <laughs> All right, we accept everything. Hmm. They're definitely having problems. They can't muster anything, but if they keep only... If basically, if they decline everything, we only catch up by maybe 150 per... What? How are we still blockaded? I... Wow. They have 32 destroyers, making their total 124. I think battleships are 9. Okay, well, let's just... Where are my raiders? Pull everybody back from the Mediterranean. Can I do that? I think so. Yeah, if we're just still blockaded, then no wonder. This is not good at all. Aye, aye, aye. And anybody who we can pull back, we need to. Maybe at war you don't need to satisfy foreign tonnage, because these all look high. Um, in which case, the Caribbean. And who's in the Caribbean? Let's get the Disgrace to move Northern Europe as well. Um, and who is in Northern Europe right now? None of our armored cruisers. Okay. Now this is going to, again, cause us to be blockaded a little bit. Oh, that's right, because I have Coastal Patrol Stupidity. Okay. Good news is we can fix that. Now, all of these individuals who were on Coastal Patrol can go to Active Fleet. Okay, very good. That should solve our problem. Now, I don't think we'll be blockaded anymore. Let's find out. <laughs> the Disgrace just got there, and true to her name, she's having problems. Good. And we want to build new docks after this, but are we still blockaded? I can't believe that. Is this our last... No, okay. So right, I'm in Queen Victoria. It's kind of a dangerous area to be strolling around. But we do not retreat, right? So onward. Okay. They're gonna we're gonna give them the wind advantage because I I'm pretty sure our ships are just better. Uh, yeah, they are, but it's not as big of a margin as I imagined at first. Okay, now we have the advantage, wind side. I'm okay to split them. 
Okay, we have other ships. That, these might be heavy cruisers. Uh, yeah, they are. All right, so <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> we need to sink this thing in a hurry, which means torpedo this. And then we can try to go after the other one. This is just sad that we're exchanging blows, but still they're going really slow. Okay, I think we've done it. No, we just keep punishing this tree class. There we go. That's what I want to see. Keep punishing her. Okay, that's, I think, a dead ship. And now, the dangerous thing. We go after him. What the hell's down there? Destroyers, that's what I want. I want those destroyers. Stay away from the Cecil class stuff. We're not retreating, we're just seeking to take advantageous <laughs> engagements. All right, here we go. So we can, oh, they reattached, okay. We're going right in. Just, what are we, what are we facing here? Yeah, that was a better ship. That one's not. Okay, we're gonna stay on the Cote Logan. I don't know how the hell you'd say that in French, but that's fine. Actually, we can just, what? Get this fax as well. Ooh, okay. He's running to protection from under the mama's skirt. <laughs> oh, God. The chaos. Now, I think we've done a fair, a fair job here so far. So if we conveniently get lost from the enemy, lose contact with them... It would not be the worst thing, but we will not retreat. We will not retreat, but yeah, we need our other ship. It's hard to fight an engagement like this. Oh god, no, we know what that is. This rudder has been ages jammed. Uh. Okay, not good. All right, here we go. Ramming speed. Are you still, uh, no, you actually, you're engaging the light cruisers. That's, We'll support over. If we can isolate one, this would be the best case, definitely. Good. Pin them. It's funny, we're still taking more fire than they are. Okay, get to the other side. She's gonna reattach, which means. Okay, here we go. This is bad. Sir Adam has seen better days. <laughs> Two turrets destroyed. One rear turret damaged. House of Queen Victoria, she's doing much better. All right, well, we still want to try to isolate this light cruiser. Another true day. These ships are both going to be shot to pieces. Oh my god, Sir Adam. Okay. Uh, I would detach him, but that would violate our operating edict. Oh god, Sir Adam's going down for sure. The only consolation we have is that we did take one of them with us. What the? Oh, whoop. Whoa! The first one! <laughs> Got our first turret flash fire. Alright, 
We need a moment. You really are stuck going nine. My god. Sir Adam has blown up but is still smoking and has stopped smoking now. <laughs> Gotta pick up those survivors, of course. We haven't been given a opportunity to do so yet. Machinery repaired gives us a speed of 11. Hmm. Well, we will keep circling for survivors. Yes, this is kind of my way of <laughs> cheating the motto. I can't believe that was a French major victory. So their ship is worth 10,000 at 5,200 versus mine at 5,800 worth 50% more. Huh. I don't know if I agree with that, but I often have disagreements about this. That's okay. It was a loss. I'm willing to take that one. Take it on the chin and move on. Now, where do we need ships? Oh, God, it was. And the Caribbean. Ah, so weird. It, it was doing okay, and then now suddenly it's not. But we should have the extra ships we need to be able to deploy people to various places. So we are not blockaded now. This is good news. Let's get two of them back. Should be enough. And I would love a battleship engagement. And let's get the Disgrace, who had problems. Huh. Okay, we should have gotten some new light cruisers. I don't think we have, but we're going to send two... How many do we need? Oh, just one. Just the war dog is going to go down to the Caribbean. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put one of these on foreign stations for a moment, but I'm going to take it off in a second as well. Ah, fleet battle, yes. Please be, oh yes, oh my goodness, yes. Now I can tell you already, we're probably not gonna get through this battle, even at my kind of breakneck speed. Um, reason for this, I, 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 oh, not the reason for this. I, I just don't have enough time. I, I need to do like 40 minutes, and then I gotta get this one out. Um, I, I have been slowed down a bit by doing the renaming. So I think it said I think it said it took me like two and a half hours or so to do the renaming. Um, that that was probably the amount of time I would have been able to get out. Probably at least two, maybe even three videos. I I still have a little prep work, so it's not one to one when I'm doing this. It's not like I just sit down and hit record and I'm going right away. But um, it's not too bad. The only prep work I need for this one is renaming. So, but I, I'm still hammering out the kinks in the renaming system. So. Anyways, we have the Disgrace back, Biscuit, Viper, Paneno, Swirling Tides, Ratio, Indomitable, Tuba, Thunderer, Valiant, Mingle, Fish and Chips, Eden, Baldric, and Argonaut. Uh, the Baldric should have been with... Oh man, there's no Black Adder here. Oh right, the Black Adder's in Southeast Asia. I'll have to send the Baldric down to Southeast Asia. Anyway, um, I think this is going to be a very, whoa, 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 no, 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 this. I think this is going to be a good fight for us. I should have been using Admiral's mode for those one ship battles, but that's okay. All right, so let's just line up the windows and get her started. Okay, where's our contact? Dead front. In the channel, this is beautiful. This is just how I would imagine um, a war at this time would have gone. Some kind of engagement in the channel. Well, the British had so many ships, I don't think the French would have engaged in the channel, actually. But unless they were close to coastal fort, now nah, I don't. I just don't. This I don't see it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these guys off of. Well, that's weird. don't have 
my thing. There we go. I see they're outside of range. Well, we can do that. We can change this. We don't want to lose contact, but I need control of these ships. Although we should, yeah, we can definitely outshoot this thing. There we go. Have it back. All right, we're gonna stay at low speeds for the time, uh, for the time being, until we close, so that I don't start burning out my engines too quickly. And what I really want to do is probably drive them down. Oh, is this a convoy raid? What the heck? And those are their battleships down there. Okay. Now they have seven or so, so there's a good amount. All right, let's get these guys to. Um, Have them go to support line ahead. Yeah, control. You will go to scout. No, let's have you go to support line ahead for the thunderer. Okay. Good. Hasn't complained either, which is also good. All right, we're closing in to range. Oh, it's the AMs. Oh, interesting. They have a lot of armored cruisers. Okay, let's start engaging from a distance. We need our battleship to really just be coming over the top, always over the top, because their battle fleet's probably are over here. I'm willing to do this little engagement, but not if it costs us something. I would really like to get those ships though. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's close now. Man, that's a lot of signals being misunderstood. Oh, that was good. Aha. So their hit did not penetrate. And two of ours has. And it was, I mean, not that we know it's penetrated, but two of ours, we've hit twice. Okay. Only once with the big guns, though. Small guns, small guns. Still, it's good. Don't change course, just steady as she goes. Let's go take these ships out. Eventually, their fleet's going to show up, but until then, I don't want to activate our higher speed. Chase this guy. Let's go chase this these, this group just to keep tabs on them. This group can catch up to these guys. Now they're... What are they doing? What, going wind side of us? Yeah, it looks like it. Clever girl. Alright, this is taking too long. Let's catch up. <laughs> Please. It's taking too long. Let's do this. Finally. There it goes. Alright. And where is this one going. Aha, there they are, okay. No, this is just like cruiser. Well, keep pursuing, because this is more valuable. I'm pretty sure we sink one armored cruiser more than we lose. I mean, if that's the exchange, that's worth probably the number of victor points that we're down. This is their battle fleet, damn it. And just head due north. And we'll arrange the line in a moment. Okay, move towards. Just let them kind of figure themselves out before I get into range. Range is so short early on that we have plenty of time to maneuver. Alright. How does that. What the hell? Come on, guys. Slow down so that you have time to arrange the line. You slow down just to conserve your coal, coal burning, 
And here we go. In we go. Like, what in hell's name is going on? All right, that's what I get for trying to let the AI do anything. We will just have to manually take control, which is going to be a frustrating son of a bitch. But, pardon me, shouldn't, this is a family-friendly uh, production. <sighs> it's not family-friendly the way this terrible AI is behaving, though. Jeez. It's just it's, it's horrible. It's hurting my eyes. Alright, get the line going. Get the line going. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, this is good. Now this is where the fun begins. This is also where the pain in the buttness begins because we're gonna have to maneuver with them, with all our ships if they won't stay in AR formation. Which is really sad. I would like to make a run at them. Let's see they're turning. Okay, we got a few hits, that's nice. Not likely to do much. Catch up, catch up. Okay, you just drop down a knot for a second. Let this guy sneak in. We're forming the lineup again, which is good. It's what I wanted. Good. We're still doing some good hits. That's because our, our gunnery kicked in, right? Our gunnery, our crew training? Maybe, maybe not. Back up to max. Ultimately, we'll probably park ourselves at 17, but for now, I need all the ships to form the line, which is more important than having a fast speed. Maybe. Okay, let's go up to 17 though. <laughs> They'll have to catch up at max speed. And this is caught up enough. Let's go down to 18. Yeah, this is kind of okay. It got better. All right, now we just keep pushing on and we see what happens. Maybe even I could go to AI mode now and, oh. Oh no, you did not send your fleet at me. No, I don't think so. I'm intentionally peeling back with the uh, mingle because he's taken a few hits. Wait. Oh, his turret's just disabled. Okay. Still, uh, I want to pull them in. Even though concave, um, let's see. Yeah, concave usually beats convex. I mean, the outer side usually has better, more firing troops than the inside. But I'm going to sacrifice that. Okay, you know what? I see an opportunity here to cut off. So we're going to cut off. Cancel this. For the moment, we're making a, a hard maneuver. 17, 17, good. 17. Which Suffern is getting hit? Well, only one of them was 12-inch guns, but that's okay. So we're going we're gonna, to um, split their line. Which is actually terrible news for our disgrace. <laughs> it's about to get pounded. There it is. There's the pounding. But I'll trade you my armored cruiser for your battleship. Maybe even two. Now, do the fleet attack on these guys, hopefully. Alright, fish and chips. 
Oh, you're already, whoa, you're doing it. Go, fly my friend. Go after them. And it's getting dark, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Let's do the range of 19, okay. Kind of messed this one up, so we're gonna just make a whole fleet turn. Oh, fish and chips is dead. <laughs> well, how are things going down here? <laughs> The Arc class destroyer is going through the Viper. I don't think that's a good thing for us. There's their suffering. No, we got it. We have to pursue this. Yeah, fine. Uh, it's not not surprising. Okay, just put you back on AI control. I don't have the wherewithal to deal with you. We want to sink this guy, and I think we will. He's just about to get a handful of. Oh god, he's going. For... He's trying to break out. Crazy man, you're crazy. What are you thinking? So it's important that we hit these destroyers before they hit us with torpedoes. Torpedoes are so bad in this era. I mean, I, I'd imagine we're going to stand to take a torpedo hit here. But we might still come out okay for from it. Alright, total battlefield swing. Because, of course, we planned this in the head, ahead. Even though we don't have radios, everyone knows how to execute this on a dime. <laughs> Fish and chips is out of uh, AI control, huh? <laughs> She's also sinking. Did you know? So, Thunder avoided torpedoes by a miracle. It's fantastic. So that might be all the torpedoes they even have. We are turning north to try to cut off... What? Just one? Yeah, two. So there's two ships here, but just even getting one is going to be really good. We're now running headlong at the ocean. <laughs> ocean class. Ah, mingle hit by a dud torpedo. Count your blessings. Okay, this ocean class is taking some fire. Now what I want is, everyone's at different speeds too, it's just chaos. I'm gonna slow down to 18. Yeah, 18 is fine. 18. Um, all right. Captain Mingle, you're in charge of sinking this ocean class while we send a group out to get this suffering. Wow, fish and chips did not take long to sink. Keep that turn with him, Mr. Mingle. Captain Mingle, keep that turn going. Play it tight. I don't know who my lead class is, but I think we should just capitalize on the fact that we have one already. Was this uh, expression now that I'm in my Dominions 4 I just used? <laughs> A man who hunts two hares leaves one and lo loses the other. So let's not hunt two hares. We will hunt one hare, and that hare is the ocean class we have here. She is, she's for sure going down, right? Yeah, there it is. All right, now we have to brave a counter, oh, counterattack, there it is. See, as I was saying it, oh man. So now we should be focusing on another battleship though, because we could get lucky. All right, this was a good turn. Two hits, three on the ocean, which is dead, and two hits on the, is this the same one? 
No. Different. Oh! Wait, this is... We want to go after this one. Absolutely. Okay, so let's get... We can... Let's see how we do this. Come back hard. Let's follow this one. Yeah, this is what we want. So, oh, this is such a close engagement. When we are, we are just blasting these ships. The British fire superiority is being very evident here. We're not taking many hits, but we are definitely dishing out the pain. And this Solferino class is our next goal. All right, this Solferino is like a weaker ship anyway. So the magentas are normal with lighter armor. I didn't even see what this ocean class is. Uh, 12, 9, yeah, okay, this is the strongest of them, to be honest, but we should be able to take the Solferino out, no problem. Let's focus on that. One more down, and then we'll move on to whatever ship is next. Piecemeal, piecemeal, that's what we'll be doing. Engaging piecemeal. And it is chaos once again. She's running to it, retreating to her Sinking comrade. <laughs> and we have her penned in. Perfect. She's trying to break it. Sulfurino. 12 inch hit. 6 inch hit. Come on, you can do better. Don't let her break through. Come on, swirling tides. <coughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry that I got that on camera. <laughs> Um, okay. We just want to make sure the Solfrino sinks. And they are actually just convoying in after it. They're really pushing. Okay, Tuba, what in God's name are you doing down here? Hopefully that's not this group. Hmm. Is the biscuit with you? It is. Well, these ocean class... Oh, those are still decent. That's the one that's sinking, though. Okay. Yeah, then we're well within torpedo range. Let's make a hard turn to port. And avoid that. Woo! Captain Mingle survives a second dud torpedo. By the way, how are they... Ah, they, they literally launched... This is amazing. I've never been able to get my ships to do, a, like, even a single torpedo launch. And they launched both of their starboard torpedoes at me at the same time. Hmm. He thinks the game doth cheat too much. Their damn AI is just really good at launching torpedoes, and we are obviously not. Like, even our ships, when given the command to launch torpedoes, just won't. Won't, can't, I don't know. Don't. They don't. <laughs> That's what I should say. But we can... Take advantage of the weak AI getting itself caught off here all by itself. And that's how we're going to try to um, win the battle. Take advantage of the weak AI, even though they can take advantage of torpedoes. Now, Horatio, our first victim. Where in God's name is the Horatio? Oh, here. Yeah, we're like inside the formation. It's probably a mistake. Oh, okay, Horatio is sinking. Our first loss. Oh, wow. We sunk the Rishilu with a torpedo on one hit. My god. And this, my friends, and this is, I, I need to like bookmark this episode and then copy this link so it's ready at all times. This is why you put torpedoes on your battleships. These knife fights, which are just so common in the early game. This is why. It is absolutely worth it. Now we just need to get out of here though. Argonaut, are you gonna make it? You need to chase down the golden fleece or whatever. Um, all right, well, we know our, our tactic has to be never to retreat, right? So unfortunately, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even, um, just like move away from this battle. We're not out of ammo yet. Uh, never been so difficult to be living by Vestigia Nola Retorsum. 
Okay, this is the Solfrino, is that? Okay. So I guess we should regroup now. Let's go crew speed, no, let's go 16. And let's regroup, have Mingle gather everyone back up. Let them all circulate back over here. But we are actually at 45 minutes in this episode, so what I'll do is call this to a close here. And when we pick up this video again, I will play out the conclusion of this fight. I hope it is enough that we can actually get um, ahead on victory points. It would be you know, a terrible start to actually <laughs> lose our first war. So until then, thanks for watching, and take care.